that we are one in the Lord, and we pray that all unity may one day be restored, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Another good morning to you. Today is Friday of the 27th week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass intentions are for Leonita, Leonita Platon, the living, and also Joseph Scapara, the deceased. This Mass is being live streamed. And also I'd like to celebrate this Mass for those people who have been affected with tornado all over the country. We pray for them for safety, but also we pray for those who have lost their dear ones. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscious dread and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, realize that it is those who have faith who are children of Abraham. Scripture, which saw in advance that God would justify the Gentiles by faith, foretold the good news to Abraham, saying, Through you shall all the nations be blessed. Consequently, those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham who had faith. For all who depend on works of the law are under a curse. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who does not preserve in doing all the things written in the book of the law. And that no one is justified before God by the law is clear. For the one who is righteous by faith will live but the law does not depend on faith. Rather, the one who does these things will live by them. Christ ransomed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed be everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might be extended to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks. A responsorial psalm, the Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Majesty and glory are his work and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Father, your blessing. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. The prince of this world will now be cast out, and when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When Jesus had driven out demons, some of the crowd said, by the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test Jesus, asked him for a sign from heaven. But Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste and house will fall against house. And if Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebub that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man fully armed guards his place, his possessions are safe. But when one stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me, and whoever does not gather with me scatters. When an unclean spirit goes out of someone, it roams through an arid region searching for rest, but finding none, it says, I shall return to my home from which I came. But upon returning, it finds it swept clean and put in order. Then it goes and brings back seven other spirits, more wicked than itself, who move in and dwell there. And the last condition of that man is worse than the first. The Gospel of the Lord. If it is by the finger of God I cross to demons, the kingdom of God is upon you. This is the message Jesus is bringing to all of us. Do we believe in him? Do we believe in what he is doing? Do we believe in what he has brought to all of us? to embrace everyone, to forgive everyone, no matter who you are, and to give healing to everyone who comes across him. Remember the story of Zacchaeus. He was looking for Jesus and he was trying to see Jesus but in the eyes of others, he was looked as someone who was not closer to God. God is looking at you, no matter what you do. For him is your soul. For him is your heart. For him is your presence. You are the son and daughter of God. You have your dignity. And that's why he recognized you. But at the moment when you try to see others in a different way, that's what Jesus is telling us. I have come so that you may have life. Do we recognize that Jesus came for all of us to give us life? The scribes and the Pharisees, they didn't recognize what has been doing it. And he didn't push them because he realized that their resistance was part of their life. But no matter what, he invited them to see from their inner heart. Change is inevitable. And especially when you see things are not going in the way you expect, come to Jesus, you will learn a lot. This week I was in a convocation and one of our priests was sharing his personal experience in life. He said that culture is so important to each one of us, but every time you don't see culture, you are culture as a superior than others. We are sitting here, each one has its own culture. 
But in order to recognize we have one culture, the culture of Jesus is the culture of love, the culture of forgiveness, the culture of, of peace, the culture which we can bring us together and listen to each other. That's the culture Jesus brought to us. The culture that we can see each one of us that has something to make a difference in our life. That's the culture Jesus brought to us. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us come closer to the presence of Jesus. He brought everything to us so that we may have life. And that life can make a difference in our journey of life. Come closer to Jesus. And let us listen to what he's telling you. For your soul and for the better of all the world. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of faith and for the gift of your spirit that you came in this world to give us life. And for this, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to continue to love as God loves, so that we'll strive to do his will in all we do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For us to strive to recognize the voice of God as not to be deceived by the voice of evil, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those starting the journey of rebuilding their lives in the aftermath of Heron and Milton to be short with generosity and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all those being impacted by war, especially in Israel, Ukraine, Africa, and all areas of the world where unrest exists to find peace through justice, we pray to the Lord. Lord for our nation's political process to be guided by the Holy Spirit and to provide us with God's will for our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for us to live our vision to be a thriving, spirit-filled, faith community, transforming lives for Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept that by your hands. The praise and glory of his name. Father, the Lord of the Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, we pray the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with beautiful service graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your heart. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and, it is right and just to adjust and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, 
through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and the Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we are claim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the choice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have called us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that we partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and the our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Joseph Scafaro, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died on mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us, O oh, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and o honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day and our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, For peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For even reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sap of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot till this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
The Lord is good to those who hope in him, to the soul that seek him. Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that you may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which you have received so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of Deacon Gary, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. Not all people can be satisfied with what you do. But if you do sincerely from the heart, and you do for the glory of God, no matter what kind of resistance you may have, God will always be closer to you. Don't lose your hope. Don't lose your energy. Do what you have entrusted it to do with an open heart. And by the grace of God, you will win what you are doing. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Verse number two, number 584. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news that God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love.